we have not done is broken down what that green bond will, will, will actually capture. And we haven't done that because we haven't got right down to the details of what is required for what in terms of sums. So budget is not your problem. That's ours and the line items there, and this will be there. The real problem we have is that the agencies and uh, ministries and departments have to come up with the specifics. And in some cases, they're not yet completely engaged with that. Um, so, you know, I really appreciate what you said about the support infrastructure. Buses are not it. That's the very end, and that's sort of like the icing on the cake. But the cake's got to be there. Um, and that really is about that, that external um, uh, line that we can take away, but the supporting structure. And the supporting structure doesn't just, you know, allow citizens to use the buses and make life easier for them. It also puts an awful lot of other income on the side of it. And I think that we, we have to see what that generates as well, and, and, and that's good for us. It will give us more jobs um, that are not, you know, calculated in this as we should do. We will calculate emissions and we'll see what's green, but actually this should create jobs, and that's what we want to add to this as well. I have to facilitate and leverage what I can get in other sectors, and this is what the Green Bond is about, that we certify, but we also facilitate and try to bring all the different parts together. Um, and I hope that this, you know, as we said, this is our first step, and if we do it well, uh, then we really can reach, you know, all sorts of ambitions throughout the country, and, and that's really what we want to do. I want to get to the dates, um, so there's urgency, but I'm not in a hurry to fail. So um, I, I really just need, um, for us, the, the, those around the table who've got to do this, um, to get into that mode. Granula granularity, yes, and we, we are you know, pushing that to the templates that we have and the questions that we ask. Um, and I think that uh, returns, quite frankly, there will be some returns. The government's going to have to pick up the bill in most cases because we need to have the hook. Once we get that and we get into that mode and the market's moving with it, then we can begin to see returns. Uh, so, so I think um, I think we're on track, but we have to fast track. It has so many, many spin-offs, and I think um, good news um, does get investments uh, coming behind it. And, and if we just keep pulling ourselves down, it's not going to work. So, thank you for reminding us that we should stay with the ambition. The Minister for Environment, Amina Mohammed, were also at that particular meeting. Was the Director of Market Development for Bonds? Ms. Justine Lee Bell, that uh, she also uh, gave a response from the government agency showing the readiness of Nigeria to exit fossil fuel economy. Let's listen. It's been a project that has been in the making now for the last six to eight months, um, where the finance minister, I mean, excuse me, the minister of environment and finance minister came together uh, to work on making sure that Nigeria in the 2017 year was going to have their first green sovereign bond. So uh, the work in the last few months has been very much stakeholder engagement, working across the different ministries to identify some of the key projects and assets that we can compile into a starting portfolio uh, for this inaugural green bond. And the premise behind it is very much around delivering on a climate agenda. So Nigeria has a huge opportunity uh, to move away from a fossil fuel based economy where much of the eggs in the basket have gone and to start to diversify uh, the asset base. So uh, what is the investment potential of Nigeria outside of oil and beginning to make those steps uh, towards that. It should be important to note that this is not just an environmental agenda. This is a uh, country agenda. It's a development agenda uh, to transform the economy and in time uh, that is exactly the road ahead to, in, in what we're trying to get to. What has been the response so far from the uh, government ministries, departments, and agencies? Uh, quite well, actually. I think uh, twofold. One is, what is this, and uh, why should we be involved? What does this mean for us? So I say the last few months has been an education component across the ministries on the potential of green bond financing, uh, not just domestically, but also in the long run. Uh, internationally, uh, so you know, being able to leverage new capital flows to be able to start addressing their infrastructure needs that they have on their uh, infrastructure planning, right? So for power, you're looking at uh, a rollout of solar uh, across the country, and to be able to do that is a significant amount of ups upfront capital costs. And Green Bond Finance is a way to attract that financing. So it's been a, I'd say, uh, open and welcomed response, uh, but also challenging in that asking ministries on what they need to provide 
uh, for us to be able to construct the portfolios uh, is, is, is a challenge going forward, but one that we can, we can address.